equation of something, <laughs> and I want to determine what kind of um, what kind of graph this is. I want the details of the graph. I want to graph it. I want to know what this is. So you're going to find that this is the general equation of you know an ellipse, a hyperbola, or a circle, and you're going to see, and I'll talk about this in another video as well, but if I have a sum of my two, so first of all, if it's two squared, if it's an x squared and a y squared, it's not a parabola. If it's a sum, it's either an ellipse or a circle. If these numbers are different, it's an ellipse. So I have a sum of two squared cases where the coefficients are different, I have an ellipse. I'm expecting an ellipse, okay? That's what I'm expecting. Let's see if it's correct. But from this representation, I don't know what the heck it is or where the center is or anything like that. So I need to maneuver to convert it back into this form, right? So I don't know if you guys remember how to complete a square. We're going to have to do that twice. Which, uh, so let's group our x terms together. 9x squared minus 18x. Group our y uh, terms together. And I want to bring the constant to the right. So I added 11 to move that to the right-hand side. Now, in my x group, when I'm completing the square, you do not want a coefficient in front of x squared other than 1, right? In order to complete the square, you need a coefficient of 1 in front of your squared term. So I, I'm, I'm factoring out a 9 just out of my x group, and then I'll say plus something to complete my x you know, squared. My y group, I need to take out a 4, just out of my y group plus something to complete that square is 11. Okay, so again, I got to take the 9 out of my x group because I need a coefficient of 1 in front of the square term to complete the square. I had to take out a 4 of my y group because I need a 1 in front of that. If you remember how to determine what goes into the box to complete the square, you take b and divide by 2 and square it. Take b and divide by 2 and square it. That gives me 1. Let me use a different color so that you guys, so it's one, right? Um, well, all right, so let's determine what goes into this box. Same thing, b, in this case b, is 4, divided by 2, and squared. So b over 2 squared, in this case, is 4. Now, be careful, because I have an equation, and I added stuff to the left-hand side of the equation. And to keep it balanced, I have to add the same stuff to the right. However, what did I really add to the left? I did not add a 1, because the 1 that I placed here is inside parentheses with the 9 in front of it. So if I were to distribute this back through, I technically added a 9. So I have to add a 9 to the right-hand side. Same thing here. Did I really add um, a 4? No. Sorry, let me just move this over. Did I really add a 4? No, because the 4 is inside parentheses with a 4 in front of it. So if I distribute this back through, I've really added a 16. So I have to add a 16 to the right-hand side. So completing the square twice. Now let's factor this out. I get 9 times x minus 1 squared plus 4 times y plus 2 squared is equal to 36. This is these are nice numbers, actually. Now, I'm very close, right, to my actual standard equation, right? But I don't have coefficients in front of these. I need them in denominators, and I need a 1 on the right-hand side. So I need to make a 1 on the right-hand side. So to do that, everything is going to get divided by 36 to make that 1 on the right-hand side. And when I do that, that's why the numbers work out nicely. The 9 and the 36 cancel, giving me 4, right? The 4 and the 36 cancel, giving me 9. And then over here is 1, and now I am in the standard form of the equation of an ellipse. What I'll do is I'll identify some of the pieces of it. Let me bring it to the next page. Let's see what I have. Um, all right, my center is at 1, negative 2, right? The largest denominator is underneath the y, so my major axis is vertical. a is the square root of 9, which is 3, and b is the square root of 4. That just so happens to be the same 
down. Here's two. <clears throat> Um, I'm just going to roughly sketch it really quickly. I'm not going to do a whole bunch of other stuff because I have it in the other videos, but um, let me draw my beautiful lines. And then we'll just roughly sketch the quick ellipse. Here, here, and then So I'm counting by ones on this. So roughly sketching, one, negative two is my center. My major axis is vertical, so I'm counting A units up and down. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then two units right and left. And here is my floating ellipse over here. Okay. Converting from general form, where is it? Converting from general um, form to standard form of an ellipse. So we're going to do that for hyperbolas also, and, and you know you do that for circles, and you do that for um, parabolas.